Hello, this is a short review video on the latest British Army lightweight waterproof jacket and trousers, meaning the Coretex suit, and this is part of the personal clothing system PCS. And as this is mentioned as lightweight, the weight of the trousers is 415 grams and the jacket weighs approximately 450 grams in size XL. So, yes, it is relatively light at least if you compare it to other military style Coretex suits. Now the design is really simple and that, it, and that explains why this is so light. But let's look at the material first. As you can see this is in multi terrain pattern camouflage, very similar to multicam. Material itself is rich top reinforced um, Gore-Tex material that is triple laminated and the triple laminated means that this is all the material membrane and then the protective uh, laminate on the inner side. So this is relatively durable. I haven't had any problems with this and I've been using this for one year for the various activities. Um, as I said, this is a relatively or extremely simple design. There is no reinforcements in knee section in the elbow section on the shoulders or anywhere else. It's just plain material all around and that is the one reason why this is so lightweight. The other reason is that there isn't really any pockets in the chest area or in the trousers. The only pockets you will get are the ones in the sleeves and they are actually quite nice and only pockets with velcro closure and there's a pocket on one on each arm and there is a rank tab in the front um, and there is no hood so that is a really big downer if you are in a heavy rain for extended periods of time the lack of hood is a problem of course it's a military jacket so I guess that they intended that this is used with a helmet or with some kind of Coretex hat or as a liner jacket. I probably think that this is meant to be used as a liner jacket because this is really slim cut and I would say that this works quite well with the windproof jacket or windproof smoke. If you have this underneath on heavy rain you will stay nice and warm and dry and of course this will work as an outer material, but let's say if you do hunting or you want to be really sneaky for some reason, this is a little bit fizzy material and having the windproof smoke on top of this one will take rid of, get rid of the hissing noise also. If you have the smoke on top of this one, you will, of course you have the pockets of the smoke. And the problem with this is that this doesn't have any go through zippers or pockets, so, so you cannot access anything underneath unless you open the front zipper. That's a little bit tricky if it's, you know, heavy rain. And on the jacket, on the cuffs, we have a Velcro tightening mechanism, really simple. And then on the waistline, there is a tightening pull cord. And of course, yeah, the color is actually quite nice and high and there is a fleece lining, so that is really comfortable and nice, but I would prefer that there would be the hood. And if you want to ventilate, if it's too hot, we have a little ventilation zip in the armpits and the front chipper is supposed to be watertight zipper and I have to say that this there is a little problem that for some reason they have put this little uh, flap of material on top of the zipper and sometimes this is really snacky as you can see immediately and um, it snacks and if you are in a hurry okay it, it's not there that pleasant also the same thing with the zippers on the arm 
fits. Sometimes they do snack unless you can hold the cuff and but it's still a little bit, little bit tricky to use. Otherwise, the jacket is fine. Um, what comes to the trousers? There isn't any pockets in the trousers. There is some ribbing on the waistline and a pull cord tightening mechanism. And then we have a velcro tightening on the ankle. And we have a really good two way waterproof zipper on the side of the leg. So, putting these trousers on and on, on and off, let's say with boots, is quite easy. And the side zipper doesn't go all the way up. There's approximately this much material on the waist. And as said, there is no pockets, no reinforcement and no go-through pockets. But of course you can open the side zipper from the upside if you want to access the lower, lower trouser pockets. Now, these are easily available from eBay currently and other army surplus stores and it seems the prices go from everywhere from 40 to 40 and 50 euros to 100 euros for one set of uh, suit and of course it's e magical wonderland of eBay so well, it's a buyer's market if you get one cheaply I would say that it is worth buying, especially if you are going to use this as a liner jacket, as um, let's say on, on the ultimate outer layer, this is a little bit questionable because there isn't any pockets and there isn't a hood, but well, you can decide, that's about it.